Episode of Pepper's Pep Rally. And now, here's the host of Pepper's Pep Rally, Pepper Mills. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. Well, he's not exactly what I had in mind for the character. The Valiant never tastes death until it is served piping hot from my AK 47. He's actually the soothsayer. He told Caesar to beware the Ides of March. Uh. Keep your voice down. This is a library! Shh! Sorry, do you have the old man in the sea written by Ernest Hemingway? I wrote many famous plays, such as The Taming of the Shrew, Measure for Measure, and A Midsummer Night's Dream. <clears throat> oh, what am I gonna tell my publisher? Holy smokes, Churchill! Hitler's stinking armies are killing innocent people! The Ides of March means March 15th. That was the day that Caesar was killed. Right! I can see it now. The, uh, the Ides of March. <laughs> what is a thing to beware if you are a leader of Rome named after a salad? The dog ate my homework! Oh, oh, oh! The dog ate my homework. Have you ever heard of anything stupider? I've read better bumper stickers. Writers, <laughs> who needs them? Ranger Lad Kennington at your service! Meet Ranger Susanna Susquehanna! We're forest service surveyors surveying the forests and ecosystems for society. Well, you see, they're afraid that Caesar's becoming too powerful and will make himself emperor. Right. Or they have to get him because he goes on a terrorist bombing spree. <laughs> So Steinbeck spent the next two months rewriting the entire novel. And this time, he made darn sure that what happened to his book wouldn't happen again. Oh, my heaven! Something's rotten in the state of Denmark! And I know what it is. It's... Fighters of the Purple Pros! Oh, that and more today on... Hysteria! 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 